This one, <laughs> this one is just one that's kind of been, I've been thinking about this one personally, but whenever I hear people talking about, because when you, when you watch TV, there's, there's, they're always talking about dating and relationships and where do you meet people and da 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 But one of the big things that you hear about is type. Like this person's my type. I ain't got this no person, type. exactly. <laughs> right? You hear about types all the time. Yeah. Now, my question is: if someone, let's say, they're having bad luck, okay, or just not choosing wisely or whatever, would you say? <laughs> would you say that if you if you decide to go? on a date or start a relationship or whatever with someone who isn't your quote unquote type, is that settling or is that more recognizing that your type isn't the right thing to go for? Damn, huh? <laughs> let, 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 let's let the guest take this one because yeah. there was a lot of body language there when we were asking that question. So I'm curious to see what you have to say. There too. If it's settling to go on a date with someone that isn't your type, hmm, that's a really good question. And let us know, you guys. What do you guys um, think? I mean, maybe you're just, you know, opening up or willing to try new things. I mean, we all have preferences at the end of the day. Like, you know, I like what I like. You like what you like. Um, but, you know, I just feel like sometimes you want to see what's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like that's a thing. I feel like that's a thing. It has to be a thing. Yeah. You just want to see what's on the other side. I mean. That's funny. So BTS, BTS Porter is asking, depends on what type you're talking about, physical or mental. Both. 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 Yeah. Both. Uh, for me, mentally, if you're not with me and we, we can't converse, like, you know, as two humans, and have an actual conversation you outside of, like, fool, foolishness, and we can actually have, like, a heart-to-heart. Heart. What did you just say? What? <laughs> you, you was talking. <laughs> I didn't say anything. You know, if we can't have one, then... I don't, I don't know, like, I, I just, the certain level of intellect has to be there um, for me, or else it's just, it's a no-go, like, you're paying your own bill, good yeah. job, thank you, like, yeah. and it's a wrap, I, I, like, I'm not, I'm not calling you, it's, it sounds harsh, but it's, it's the sad reality, it, um, makes, it makes sense, the truth, um, and physically, I mean, I do think a certain level of uh, attraction has to be there, uh, like, I'm not gonna say looks are everything, but Let's keep it real. At the beginning, there. Yeah. Facts. And then you need you look for more than that. You yeah. Look beyond that. But you're not gonna be like, you're not gonna walk up to the girl at the club and be like, "Girl, your intelligence is on fire." There you go. <laughs> you know, you've never spoken to her before. <laughs> yeah, but you can tell with the banter that goes on in the first couple minutes, though. Hmm. I get that, but the initial attraction that makes you approach the person yeah. in the yeah. first place. That's why when people say, oh, looks don't matter, Sh- shut up. It's, just, 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 just shut up. It's garbage. Seriously, Thank just you. shut up. Okay? Thank you. Shut up. Like, it, there's no way, there's not <laughs> something, something, even if it was like, out of the person out of a hundred, one thing made you go, eh, maybe. Right? You can't be like, the only people who can say, looks don't matter to me, are blind people. And I think it matters to them, too. They got types, too. I they guess. can feel your face. They'll be like, yeah, yeah. that knows Do you know how insulting big. it would be just... for a blind person to touch you and be like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, bro. <laughs> that's when you just like, that's it. Like, it's over. But the, yeah. the same people that say that, I've heard so many people say that. Yeah. And both men and women. And I'm like, okay, you guys are lying. Because those are the same people that I know personally. First was the cheat. Hmm. Mm. This mm-hmm. one's the cheat. Yeah, yeah. That, that, you that. have to like the overall package. You have to like what you have. You have to appreciate and embrace what you have. I like. And if that. you don't embrace it as a whole, then you're lying to yourself. Preach, you know, yo. That's that's Preach. just how I see it. You like, gotta like the overall package. You have to. Yeah. You have to. Because mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> you're gonna look for other pieces somewhere else. There's yeah. always gonna be something better though, regardless. Eighty twenty rule. Eighty twenty. It's just what it is. There's always gonna be something better out there. So. Except you, baby. <laughs> there uh, you go. Except you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but once you, you're comfortable with what you have, and you know, yeah. But you know, it's funny. I remember. Uh, do you remember back in the day there was this stand-up uh, series called White Boys in the Hood? No. And remember. it was white comedians doing stand-up in front of black crowds. Wow. It's freaking hilarious, man. It's crazy. Did but they, they had. Ah. Uh, they were funny, man. Yeah. They were really funny. But like guys that you see now on Just for Laughs and stuff, like they used to be on that show. But I remember at one point they had this this one old white guy. Funny as hell. 
but he he basically looked like an old like homeless hippie. Like that's that's <laughs> yeah. the best I could describe him. But he was like, I kind of laugh when people say I only date this person or that person because I've never met anyone who has it going so good that they can eliminate an entire group of people. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. But I find it also like, especially, it, de- it depends on where you are in life. No. Right? Right? You know how I'm getting there. Yeah, because if you, there's a very big difference between having a type when you're 20 and yeah. having a type when you're 50. Facts. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm when, you're, when you're 20, you're like, yo, the world is mine. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're 50, it's like, what in the world? Like well, you know, <laughs> you're like that until you you have a humbling experience. I mean, like, yeah, just yeah. I don't know. College can be wild sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but but at the same time, I, I don't know. I, I I look at it as like wasting a waste of time. Like I mean, you know, you can't be committing to to too many people. At the end. Yeah, you want to be in and out. You want you don't want to be known as that person who's in and out of relationships, new boyfriend, new girlfriend every day, because clearly you just don't know what you want. Yeah, right. But then do you just settle? That's the question. Damn, like... I, <laughs> yeah, so... Is it settling? I guess. I guess so. I guess... I guess so. Honestly, I would have to say it is. If you're se- if you're not going for someone who's your type, you are settling for sure. But... but Because you're but not content with... But to your point, Nicole Lancou, Yuli's mom, just made a very interesting point. She said, just saying, my type, I love men with orange hair and a beard. Now look at who I married. Yeah, <laughs> she married like, but Nicole, you married like, yeah, the opposite, if, if, like the complete the opposite. 180, and she's like, and I wouldn't change it at all. No, but she has beautiful kids. It's success, like, you know what I mean. All her kids are smart, great yeah. kids. Like, I mean, there's nothing to regret there. Yeah, so no, she's absolutely. good. You know, like she, she hit the jackpot. So yeah. thank God she didn't go for the orange hair with the beard. I'm just saying, I know a lot of people that settled and they are like, they're not satisfied. They're just. I th- I think there's a I think. If, if you have a type like Nicole, mm-hmm. and she goes for something else, I call that growth. Ooh. But if you have a type, and you settle for someone else, and you're still unhappy, that is settling. So the happiness factor yeah. is something yeah. different. And the contentment. Yeah, that's true. Know, I'm the like, unhappy couples. That's true. Like, like the thing that makes me laugh, too, is I, like my wife and I, it's a trap when I never answer. <laughs> but it's, my wife will always say, oh, if we weren't together... As soon as it starts with that, you know it's, it's just downhill from there. If we weren't together, who do you think you'd be with? Like, what's your type? I'm like, I'm like, okay, I married you, so I will start with my type is fine. That's it. That's my type. It, there's no, there's no color. There's no nothing. Like it could be white, black, yellow, whatever. My type is fine. That's it. So you like them yellow, huh? What? Oh, Th- that's what God. she would say. <laughs> oh, you like the one too, huh? No, it would have been it would have been <laughs> wrong answer. <laughs> You're a good person. You said fine. I'm so raw and unfiltered. I But that is raw though. To say my type is fine. fine. Because like I said, would I go talk to the girl that's standing over there who I who I had no attraction whatsoever. If I didn't think like, oh yo, there's something there's something about her. Hmm. I wouldn't have spoken to her. Yeah, so, right. so I'm you're being right. truthful when that I say, is. "Yeah, fine." Valid. See, nice. There you go. How would you answer that question? If your girl I have asked you that question before, and that was the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what did you say? I gave the opposite of what he did. <laughs> I really started to describe my type, oh. and I was like, "Listen, okay, like I'm." I made an exception type thing. So I sort of settled, but at the you same You made time, an exception with her? Is that what you started I with? I sort of settled. Like, I mean, like... This dude... I told her straight up, like, yo, you're not... You're not wait, wait, that's what you said to her? <laughs> to her, straight up, face to face. You're not really my type. But, oh! But, oh, but, man. Our, this dude <laughs> needs some Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little Gucci. Oh, that's amazing. No, nah, I, I took L's from there. Um, she was she was actually mad, but um, I just told her like, it's well, not really, what? What? really, like, what I prefer, she I, was actually mad. She was, she was. <laughs> and I described I described her perfectly, like you know this height, that that, oh height, my everything, goodness. color. Did you not see her seating? I knew the color and everything. And it was the, the fact that, yeah. I was like, yo, I like, you know, a little black girl or something, you know, uh, little black babies. And she was like, ah, she's, um, she's Arab and she wasn't having it. She snapped. I think I got slapped a couple times. 
Uh, anyways, like this is a real story too. Um, I'll never, I'm, I'm I'll assuming never, it is. Ever, ever forget it. Ever forget it. Um, but yeah, I gave the wrong answer. And in all realness, like you said, my type is fine because that makes the most sense realistically. I'm not gonna talk to someone who isn't my type. Whether it's I don't care what color you are. Yeah. But or fine to, to me. Yeah, exactly. You have to have mm. the full package. Wow. So how would you answer this now? I would say my type is fine. <laughs> I don't know. Like, See, that's the youngins learning from the OG. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't ever, like, yeah, you can't get into detail. I gave way too, like, the details, like, serious details. And I, I even showed pictures, everything. What is like, my type? I said pictures. I'm wild, man. I was, I was dumb. Don't you, even. You need better friends. <laughs> like, who would do that? I sent the pictures. He's of this, of he, curly he created. Girl. He created a PowerPoint presentation for her. Oh, you want to know? Let me show you. <laughs> so a picture of a yellow, yellow boom. Oh and man! Me and the curls out, and I was like, "This is my type." Can I make, can I make you an artist rendering of what my type is? <laughs> <laughs> I I have a friend who is an artist. I will get back to uh, you. Let oh. me go and find her, and I'll show you what she looks like. You might this, as well do this. Well, this I is know. my type. <laughs> Look, ba- babe, babe. This is my type. Okay. <laughs> it's clearly not you. <laughs> But no, no, it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's like oh, when the people, go, it's like when the people go like, "Yo, no offense though, no offense <laughs> yeah, though, yeah, all offense you're not, my, you're not my type. No offense though, <laughs> I still love you. Hey, but you know what? We're poking fun, but we live in we learn. It's yeah, fun. it's fun. And, 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 and I felt so bad because it did affect her in some way. I mean, you know. Oh, I mean? really? So I, I did feel, I did feel guilty. You gave her a complex, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I definitely felt bad. I apologized. You know, I had to make up for it. Things didn't work out though, so um, here I am today. <laughs> Would they have though? <sighs> nah. <laughs> if, if only you guys knew. <laughs> oh, another man. show. That's another show. Yeah, yeah, That's for sure, show. for sure. Wow. 